Good evening and welcome back. We're going to try something different on the channel. Mainly I've been playing PES games, golf games such as PGA Tour 2K23. What I wanted to do is try one of my all time favourite games for a couple of reasons. I did want some different content on the channel and a few people had mentioned doing more of a traditional sort of playthrough. Now originally I bought the GameCube mainly for Resident Evil 4, absolutely loved it. Then it eventually came out on the PlayStation 2, completed it on that as well. And throughout the years I bought it pretty much on every console I can and it's definitely my most completed game in terms of just the amount of times I've played it and actually completed it. Good thing about Resident Evil 4 is it's not too long I suppose, you know like a lot of open world games which I love, I just tend not to complete them. And then of course we've got the remake coming out this year, I believe it's in March, really looking forward to that. Slightly nervous what it's going to be like i'm sure they'll do a good job but i've played this so many times i sort of know it back to front it's going to take some getting used to playing that remake did a really good job with resident evil 2 and 3 remakes yeah looking forward to that so what i thought we'd do is we'll just do a playthrough on resident evil 4 we're playing this on the ps5 and i'll not skip the cutscenes just in case anyone hasn't played this before but yeah let's just jump in First thing, we are going to use Special Costume 2, which we've already unlocked, which just allows Ashley to have the armor suit, which basically stops her from getting damaged. May sound a little bit cheaty, but I've played the game so many times. I've never been that keen on having a follower that can die sort of aspect in games. I think they do it really well in Resident Evil 4, but I just think that the armor costume takes a little bit of the stress away. grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Uh, 
That must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. So there it is, there's the info. I mean, the long story short is that you're sent to find the president's daughter. You're playing as Leon Kennedy, who's been in previous Resident Evil games. Let's just get started. So first of all, you can actually shoot these birds and they drop items or potentially money. So I'm gonna shoot those. And bear with me if I press the wrong buttons because uh, it's been a while since I played it and I've got a habit of sometimes um, sometimes reloading instead of shooting so we're going to jump straight in here just want to make sure yep so i know the knife attack now so this will be the second cut scene in a second uh excuse me sir I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! I said freeze! Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. So that may have been a bit quick, but what we, the, one of the best techniques and to save ammo as well is the regular, well, we'll talk about whether they're zombies or not in a moment is to actually shoot them in the feet or the legs so they drop to one knee then kick them or knife them just to save on ammo etc i'm sure there's something here no there's not as you see you can see we've got a, a few enemies here just managed to avoid that attack there we go now the one of the good things about Resident Evil 4 is when the music, that sort of ominous music stops, you know that you're in the clear, at least for now. And we will drop our first save in a second. It's fine for now, but you've got to be very careful when you destroy these boxes. So you, you use your knife to destroy these boxes. You can shoot them, but that's a waste of ammo. Sometimes, I think some of the drops are a little bit random. Some of them are set. And then you've got these typewriters where you can save. So we're going to drop our first save. 
Okay, but those boxes, like I was saying, later in the game, uh, spoilers, some of them hold snakes inside. So when you burst it open, um, a snake attacks you if you're not quick enough. So what the best technique to do is, is just swipe tight twice instantly and it should kill the snake. And as you can see, we've got a couple more crows here. So we'll see if we can get at least one. We'll get two. Now, there is a dog here. We are going to free it. And if you haven't played the game before, uh, definitely do free it because this dog will come back later on and actually help you. You've got these traps on the floor as well. Again, you can shoot these or you can knife them if you're close enough. If you walk over them, um, they will uh, catch your leg in them like that dog there. So that, the good thing about that is that that dog there, it actually showcases the player um, the traps early on, which is a, a really work, good way of doing it. But it also introduces that uh, character, we'll call it, for later in the game. Watch out for these trip wires. There's a trip wire to the right and left, which are bombs. There we go. So there's an enemy there. We're going to drop back a bit. We're going to hope he runs into the trip wire. They often don't. Ah, he didn't. So again, we're going to try and just shoot him in the legs. Kick him. And he's died anyway. And obviously you can check these as well, and I'll just have some information on there. <laughs> Guess there's no sex discrimination here, yeah. Okay. So yeah, the technique for this will be later in the game, is just hold the, the uh, attack button with a knife. And it's only the small, small boxes, I believe, that the snakes can appear in. Let's have a quick look at the inventory menu as well. So as you pick things up, there is a limited amount you can hold. So, yeah, you've got room for your bullets, your ammo, any health items. So a first aid spray, that just refills your health. These herbs... It's best not to use them as they are. You want to combine them. There's green, red, and yellow herbs, and we'll get into that later in the game. But you, you can combine them in different ways. And then you've got other items, such as different types of grenades. So this is a hand grenade. You can get incendiary grenades and like a flashbang. And the flashbangs are actually more useful than they sound because they can insta-kill a certain type of enemy, which is um, not difficult to kill, I would say, but they can be a bit of a bullet sponge. Whereas if you use a flash grenade, it can kill them in one go. nearly sort of wasted one bullet there in a way obviously we're not trying to min max the game or anything but ammo conservation you know can be key and there's one here so we'll just Ooh, and we've actually should have reloaded that was there uh, poor you can't even risk it just trying to use the knife you can without using the gun you can actually if you knife them in the legs, you can sort of knock them down. It's obviously a lot more risky. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. But this is one of the first main battles, I would say. So get ready for this one. Yeah, so there is a dead for this, so I'm just running straight in here. But this is one of the first big battles in the game. And that's not a guy you want to mess with, that chainsaw guy. So what we're going to do is we're going to run straight upstairs. We are going to get this grenade. Put this down. We're going to run straight up, jump straight over here. And we are going to run straight in this door. Knife this lock. And I think we're going to use the realize he was going to come in that quick actually
definitely want to pay this cut that money up because that's a lot of money and it can disappear. Now, if this door opens, we might be able to toss a grenade. Ah, that's nice. That was there. Uh, I should have avoided that attack, but the grenade was worth using in that situation to kill a few. There is a, I don't know if it's a time limit or just the amount of enemies you kill limit. As you can see, we can do some pretty good damage here. And there we go, there's the cutscene. everyone going? Bingo? Nowadays that's pretty much the sort of, I don't know if you'd call it a prologue or not, but the intro. Hunnigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly head back in here where I was. Was this where I was? No, it wasn't. Sorry. It was this one, of course. Ah, uh, luckily they haven't despawned. Sometimes these despawn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go around. What you want to do is after this, it's, the village is pretty much safe for now. So what you want to do is you want to go around just mopping all of the items up. Check everywhere you can. There's rooftops as well that you can get on. I'll probably not show at all, but I may sort of show highlights of some of the uh, some of the more hidden pieces, I suppose. So I suppose one of the key places is this tower. You can go up to the top, and I believe there's some shotguns right at the top there. And if you get on these, uh, one of these ladders, either way, to get on the rooftop, there's a couple of ladders to get up. What you want to do is have a search around because there are items in the chimneys. So if we go around here, there was one just before that I picked up, which was ammo. And then there's one of these sort of jewels called a spinel or spinel. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, actually. And as you can see, we've actually managed to pick up at least one of each herb. What we'll do is we can combine them. Normally the combinations are you can either combine three greens and that'll give you a full health. The best one is to combine red, red, yellow and green. And what that will do is when you take this, it will increase your overall health. So if you look at the bottom right there, there's that green bar, which is my health. And then there's a little white bar, which is at about uh, sort of seven o'clock on a clock dial. Now watch as we take this. I would recommend only taking these when you're not at full health because it will increase your overall health, but it will, will also fill up some of your health as well. You want to try and ma maximize the health on that side in terms of healing. So as I've already taken a little bit of hit, I'm going to use this now and you'll see that white bar increase a little bit. So there you go. And obviously you can pick those up throughout the game and eventually you can get to that 12 o'clock mark where you'll have full health. And I'll just quickly show you the map system. It's fairly straightforward. You can see where the arrow, where we're facing. The S's are the save points. Red circle here, that's your destination. That's where you wanna to head to. So you can see we just wanna go around the corner to the left and up there. These uh, red icons here, they are doors that are not able to open at this point and the green ones you can open. Okay, so this is the next door, so we're just going to head through. First of all, what I want to do, I did have a look on the map, and there is a save just around the corner in here. So you want to do that first of all. 
Now, just one thing to call out, a couple of things. There is a blue post you can see on that tree. If you pick it up, it will explain more. But there are these blue medallions that you can shoot. And there are 15 of them, I believe, in the game. And they're only in a, in a couple of areas. If you shoot a number of them, you will get a reward. If you shoot all 15 of them, the reward is slightly better. And obviously it takes bullets most of the time to shoot them. So um, I do believe that the reward's worth it though. Chickens also drop eggs, which are health items. So we're gonna quickly pick those up. Now that may alert a couple of others. We'll get this item in a moment and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so there's a guy over here. You've got to know your enemies as well. So that guy can throw, so dodge that. And again, minimise use of ammo by hitting him when he's on the ground with a knife. So yeah, there you go, there's the information about the medallions. Seven in the farm, which is where we are now, and eight in the cemetery. For those of you who destroyed ten or more, you will be rewarded. Awarded, rather. But if you do get 15, the reward is slightly better, and we'll have a look at that when we do get it. Now, because I know this game pretty well, I sort of know where the enemies are going to come from and all of that, but you, there's lots of audio cues, so I'd say use those. There's the music. Another thing is sometimes Leon will flick his head. He'll sort of glance if there's an enemy on your left or right. Or behind you. Now, I know there's an enemy at the top, so we'll go up, but got to be ready for this. And again, what you want to do is hit them in the leg or the foot as low as you can. If they drop down to the knees, then use square on the PlayStation, it will kick them. There is a suplex for certain enemies as well, but it's the same button. I'm going to go down there in a moment, but we're just waiting for this enemy. Now, we used two bullets there, but I just want to avoid them throwing it. We could have maybe tried to avoid the attack when he threw it, but don't want to risk my health. I would say your health's more important than the actual ammo. I mentioned this jewel over here. What you don't want to do is shoot the jewel down, which you can do. I think it's a watch. What you need to do is shoot this plank of wood. If you don't do that, it will drop in the dirty water and you can't get it. If you do this, it will drop on here. And when we get around to it, I will explain about the items that you pick up and how you can make money from them. What we'll do now is we'll go around and we will mop up the blue medallions. We'll try and get all of them in the farm area. So first of all, there's one on this tree. It's relatively straightforward. There's one behind the barn on a tree. There's one inside the barn when you look up through the, uh, the window. If you go over to this uh, area where there was an enemy before, you have to look all the way up. And there's one at the very top. Now there is a little bit of sway on the weapon as well, so you may miss a few. Now when you get inside the barn and up the stairs, there's one in this window. And when you're on the top here, what you want to do is look right. And there will be one hanging off this uh, fan, I want to call it. Now it does move, so you've got to be careful. Got it first time. And the last one is over by those doors. If you look up to the left, this is going to be difficult to get. Could get nearer, but let's give it a go. Oh, got a first time as well, lucky. So we've got the seven in this farm area, so that's all we need for now. Now, they do show on the map anyway, when you go into map mode. So it'll give you an idea of where to go. But then you'll have to scout around that area. Some of them are well hidden, some of them not so much. And I'm not going to show where all of the hidden items are and things like that. But when you're on this walkway, when you've just jumped out of this window, first thing you want to do, actually, when the enemies are clear, is you want to jump down on this little bit here. You wouldn't normally have to go here if you didn't, um, if you're just trying to progress the game. But jump down. And as you can see, it's like trapped in. There's no other way to get in here. You've got a beer stein here, which you can add items into. And then you can get out by pushing this. So there you go. So that's a little bit of an extra hidden thing there. 
and again we're back up top here now this is the, the way you would normally go because you can't actually get through this gate yet but there are a couple of things you can get here so ah well lucky on that occasion there wasn't anything in there and i think there's a little yeah there's a little cubby around here so again some money and maybe some ammo or something and this is the door out so we're going to head through this door now and quite honestly this is one of the bits i hate so i've just come through this door here um, there's like a, a QT event here. There are a few in the game and I'm not the best at them. So let's see how we get on. Ooh, just got that there. So what you want to do is there are uh, things in the ceiling that you can shoot. They're obviously fairly obvious. So if you see anything that looks out of place like this, you know, try and shoot them. And these bats don't actually harm you. As you can see, Leon does turn his head and he's distracted, but they don't actually do you any harm. Now you want to be careful on this bit because look here, this guy has got an explosive. I wonder if we can shoot it. Ah, we got him. Brilliant. Oof, we got him as well. That was a good shot. A little bit lucky. Now watch out because there are some traps here. And there's explosives here. So we could shoot them from a distance. Just going to hit these. Again, the spiders don't do anything. Now what you could do is you could just kind of avoid this. But... Again, I don't think we did. There we go, got him. See, there's a nest in the tree here, so if you shoot that down, and we've got a red cat's eye, which some cat's eyes, jewels, etc., they actually go into other items. We'll have a quick look, actually. So if you go in the inventory menu and you go in keys treasures, you obviously can look at information about them. Now, the spinals you can just sell straight out. This you can sell straight out. This one will say, yeah, there are three recessions on the side. I wonder what they're for. So normally there's a clue. So I believe this combines with the beer stein and it does. So yeah, we're just mopping up some things in here. There is a save. So we're gonna do that in a moment, but you've gotta be careful when you go around the corner, you can see there's some explosives there. So what we will do, so we probably should save first, but we're gonna shoot this. You can either shoot the wire or you can shoot the uh, the actual bomb. But we'll go and save. And if you can just see there, there is another bomb. So if we, we can get a little bit of distance and we'll shoot it from here. Oh, that was a bad miss. There you go, and that's the last of the bombs there. So again, you know, you wanna check these, any cupboards, things like that. I know a lot of them off by heart and which ones do and don't, but it's best to check them all if you're not sure. And now I know there's nothing in that one, but uh, this will be another cutscene in a second. them no you <clears throat> okay i have only one very important question you got a smoke got gum perfect the big cheese what Feeble humans. 
Let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Wake up. Ay, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now, what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, I'm <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. <laughs> And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not dying. Do something, cop! After you. Now! It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? Fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. So I think that's a pretty good place to end it for this episode. That was the end of the first chapter and that cutscene was the start of the second chapter. What we'll do is we'll pick this up in episode two. I hope you enjoy it. It's mainly a playthrough, but maybe with some tips and tricks just combining. Like I said before, I really love the game and maybe we'll get into it a little bit further on in the game, but there is like a new game plus mode as well where you carry over your weapons and items that you've got. And what we'll see at the start of episode two is a little bit of inventory management and new items potentially and that'll all become clearer in episode two but yeah thank you very much for joining guys hopefully you'll join me for that one things do ramp up in the next part of the game lots more enemies and i'm sure at some point soon we'll see one of our first bosses so i hope you can join me then leave some comments down below let me know whether you've actually played this game before or this is your first time watching it are you going to be buying the remake of resident evil 4 i'm hoping it's going to be good it does appear that it's going to have a bit more of a darker theme. Resident Evil 4, you know, obviously did have horror elements, but it's, as you saw in some of the cutscenes, it's got some cheesy one-liners and things like that. By the looks of it, I think Resident Evil 4, at least from what I've seen so far, is probably going to be more on the darker, realistic side. But we'll continue this soon. Hopefully you'll join us for that one. And I'll see you then. Cheers.